Hey guys, it's Tropical Pancakes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing an underrated Etsy shop called Bellini Slimes that I discovered on Instagram recently and I couldn't help but get intrigued with their detailed and creative slimes, so let's get started. I ordered three slimes, but they were kind enough to send another slime for me to review in this video. Nothing leaked in the package and it was very well put together. One thing I do want to mention is that they didn't include borax in case that's something that you guys care about. Personally, I don't mind too much and I didn't even need to reactivate any of the slimes in this review anyways but I can see it being a problem so I just wanted to make sure I made that clear. So as I mentioned earlier they're very creative with their slime creations but the reason they stood out to me so much was because of the tv show and movie references they make that made me feel so nostalgic and since all of these slimes are tv related I'm going to be giving my rating of the tv show or movie as well just for fun so you're gonna be seeing a little bit of my critic side coming out today. Hopefully she's not too annoying. The slime they sent free of charge is called Cat's Bibble that comes with a half flown yellow glossy thick base, a hot pink mini slime, and finally a combination of heart, sprinkle, and musical note clay slices. If you guys couldn't tell, this shop does not go stingy on the add-ins. And I'm sure most of you know, but if you don't, this is referencing a very popular Nickelodeon show called Victorious with Ariana Grande playing Cat Valentine and her addiction to a colorful popcorn called Bibble. The scent is like a delicious caramel popcorn, which is kind of what I've always imagined the Bibble from the show to taste like. Wait, is Bibble a real snack? Hold on, I need to look into this. The labels they use are so cute and add so much to the slime. 5 out of 5 pancakes. And for the show Victorious, I give it 4 out of 5 pancakes. It was definitely one of my favorite shows growing up, but I feel like they could have done more with Kat's character. Is that just me? The first slime I picked out on my own is The Kissing Booth. Clearly inspired by the famous Netflix original movies, this comes with a thick and glossy yellow base slime, a hot pink flat clay circle, a set of three red clay lips in a super nice gold container, and so many different love themed clay slices and a red heart charm. I was technically supposed to make a blue rim with the mini slime I received, but I didn't realize it was for this slime, which is totally my fault, I should have checked before I did it, so I sadly didn't use it for the rest slime. This was still so much fun to mix in and play with though. I love 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 how much the colors pop in every part and how easy it was to blend every ingredient together while mixing. It has a cotton candy scent and it turns into the most buttery and vibrant slime ever after mixing it and it still stays so pretty. I must give it 5 out of 5 pancakes. And the kissing booth gets 3 out of 5 pancakes for me. I feel like it was a pretty basic movie and it didn't really stand out too much. I won't rate the second one but it was an improvement. Hopefully 
hopefully I don't get too much hate for saying that because I know there are some diehard fans of the kissing booth, which is totally fine. You can like whatever you want. I'm just giving my own opinion. Next up is PCA Cafe, and oh my god, you guys, I literally died inside when I saw this. This slime is inspired by the wonderful Nickelodeon show called Zoe 101, which was another one of my childhood favorites. This DIY clay comes with a lilac basic thick slime base and a pretty wide-rimmed container, if I do say so myself. A mini turquoise slime, but I'm dumb, so I thought the other blue slime was also for this one. More clay slices in turquoise and purple, since those are the school PCA or Pacific Coast Academy's colors in the show. There are even some phone clay slices that I thought looked so cool, along with a blueberry muffin charm. And the cutest turquoise cupcake slash muffin container that said made with love and held a really well-made clay blueberry muffin. It has a very nice chocolate scent and it ended up looking so perfect after putting everything together. I will admit the rim drip takes a little bit of extra effort, but it's so worth it in the end. The only thing is that the ending color isn't the prettiest and it does become slightly tough because of the large amount of added clay. For those reasons, I'll give this 4 out of 5 pancakes because it was still so, so good. And the show is also getting 4 out of 5 pancakes because as much as I loved it, the Zoe and Chase tiptoeing around their feelings for each other the entire series seriously got on my nerves. You have no idea how many times I just wanted to go through my screen and plan their entire wedding out for them to get on with my life. Wow, I need to calm down. And finally is Spencer's Spaghetti Tacos. As if this video couldn't get any more exciting for me, we're throwing in some iCarly into the mix. I mean, how could I not? It's a classic. This is a neon green slime, which I cannot explain why, but that color is so perfect for Spencer. A brown crunchy mini Bingsu slime to look like beef, tomato, purple onion, phone, and sprinkle clay slices. And duh, Bellini slimes of course went all out and made a clay spaghetti taco that made me get so hungry while recording. I mean, are we 
we seeing this? Like, how? It's so perfectly made, and it came in a giant container that was great for storing the extra slime later. I'm not sure what kind of clay they used, but again, it was so easy to mix into the slime. And the final texture was so nice. I think this is scented like lettuce because, I mean, that's what it smells like to me. I've always wanted to try spaghetti tacos, but for some reason, I never have. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried them and if they were good. Anyways, I think I'm gonna give another 5 out of 5 pancakes, and iCarly gets a 4 out of 5 rating for me. It was a really fun show, don't get me wrong, but I just found it to be kind of weird sometimes. Then again, that's my kind of humor, so yeah, I'm a little torn. And surprise, surprise, I'm doing another mini slime smoothie with all of the extra slime in the giant container that had the spaghetti taco. And it's technically not mini at all since there was so much slime left over. I mean, are you guys seeing this? This is basically a full on slime smoothie. Comment down below what color you think this will turn out and continue watching to find out if you're right. All right, enjoy this beautiful mixing. That is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so hard to only pick a few slimes from this shop because I fell in love with every single one since I've been so into DIY clay slimes a lot lately. Each slime blew me away and I don't understand how they're so underrated. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, like this video, and then comment down below hashtag pancake squad if you want the chance to receive a shout out in my next video just like these amazing people. Thank you all so much. That is all and I can't wait to see you next time. All right, I love you guys so much. Bye.